Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. Yes, it has been a while. I've been gone a little bit. I've been hibernating for the winter and now spring is here, but I'm starting off this year with a bang, literally with a bang, with a pellet rifle, but we're dieseling a pellet rifle again. But this time I'm doing it a lot different than last time. So I can get rid of all those haters, which I'll probably make more here today. So cheers to you guys. This time we're gonna be dieseling a different way a lot different than the way we we're doing it before and i know how much you guys liked my last video so hopefully this one's going to be way better way funnier and better quality because it's been over a year since i made my first one and it was on a crappier camera it was with worse gear and now i have better stuff right and i have more knowledge about pellet rifle dieseling than i did before thanks to some of you guys in the comments but this time i expect to get consistent results and make every single one of you happy that I did it this way. And I'm gonna save some of you guys in case you were trying to follow the last video I made and trying to do it yourself, which I said not to. One of the reasons I said not to do it the way I did before is because you were destroying your rifle that way. This way is a lot safer on your rifle, but you still should not do it because it still can damage your rifle. So don't do this, don't, but it works very well. <laughs> Let's talk about what we have here, okay? Right here in this bottle, it says it's not P, okay? It says it's not P, all right? And this, this says it's not Mountain Dew, all right? Yeah, okay, not Mountain Dew, all right? This right here says that I'm definitely not broke. One of these, one of these is lying. I'll let you guys figure out which one is fake. Who knows? When you guys are wearing your gear, you know, do you do like I do? Hang your grenade right here. The proper way to carry your grenade is directly to the pull pin. That way, if you're in a rush, you can hurry up, pull it off and throw. You know what, that's a stupid joke. We're just gonna forget that ever happened. Well, let's get started. We're using the same gun I used in the last video because it's the worst gun that I own and the only one I don't really care about. So let's go at it. We're gonna start off with five shots. This is 22 caliber, all right, of these Crossman Premier hollow points, 22. These are like the cheapest things that you can get. We're gonna do five shots. I'm gonna write down each shot and then we're gonna compare it to when we diesel it. You know, you you understand? But you understand that? Let's do it. All right, five shots, let's go. 690. 671. 687 683 okay last one 688 now before we get started okay this is how you properly diesel a rifle okay you break the barrel oh, just like that pretty simple right you take your pellet you put it in Simple, straightforward, okay? Okay. Now you see the back, right? You see that little dimple. What you wanna do is just put a little, boop, just a little drop. Just a little drop right in the back of the skirt of the pellet. All right. Now you saw how it works. Let's scoot this in so you not think I'm Tom Fuller in you. All right. Pull it up. Now let's see what we get. 933 feet per second. Now let's do it again. Pretty simple, take your pellet, put it in. Just a little drop. Bam, right in the back of the pellet. All right. 921. Almost like it's magic. Okay. Whoa! 953 feet per second. That is insane. All right. Now remember, a little of this goes a long way, okay? 
So you barely need a little bit in there. Don't try to fill up the pellet, you know. Just put some in the back. 946. Okay. Now, we're on our last pellet, okay? This is the last one. There we go. I think I put a little bit too much, but that's okay. Here we go. 923. So let's talk about the numbers, okay? So regularly, this rifle will shoot between 690 feet per second and 670 feet per second. Somewhere around 670, 690, it stays in there, in that range, right? When we dieseled it, it ranged from 921 feet per second to 953 feet per second. That's a huge difference, massive difference. Now, that means the average of shooting this regularly was 683 feet per second, right? And with dieseling, was 935 feet per second. That may not sound like a lot. You're like, oh, you know, what, like 250 feet per second more? Well, energy, energy works differently than speed, right? Like, let's say I have something that shoots 500 feet per second versus something that shoots 1,000 feet per second, right? If you take the 500 feet per second, you're like, oh, it's gonna be half as powerful as the 1,000 feet per second, right? Wrong, way wrong. Because energy, even just like a few miles per hour more, gives something way more energy. It's like inertia, basically, right? So we're gonna do this in foot-pounds of energy. Regularly, this rifle shoots 14.8 foot-pounds of energy at 683 feet per second, right? So 14.8 foot-pounds of energy. We dieseled it, we got 37.6 foot-pounds of energy. We over doubled it. We pretty much doubled it in a half, basically. That's how much more power we added. We turned this into something that's over twice as powerful than what this actually is, which would technically Shooting this like this makes it more powerful than a PCP rifle in 22 caliber. And I know I'm going to get debated on that in the comments. And I don't like you. But we're just talking about the insanity of that. That is so much energy from this. Like, we over doubled it. It's crazy. So, what we're going to do now is just test it out on definitely not Mountain Dew. And definitely not Piss. We're gonna, we're gonna shoot both of these. We're gonna start with the bigger one, then we're gonna move to the smaller one. And we're doing them all dieseling. I can already hear it now. Do you hear that? The haters are saying, what? What do you mean speed doesn't mean accuracy? What? Who would wanna do this? What? No. You want me to do an accuracy test? Well, guess what? I can't. You wanna know why? Because this gun is such a piece of junk it couldn't hit a dinner plate at 25 yards if I tried. So, I don't wanna hear it. I don't wanna hear anything about accuracy. I don't wanna hear it. Get out, go away. Don't you dare comment that, you stop. But anyways, we're gonna start out shooting not Mountain Dew. Totally not Mountain Dew. We're gonna shoot this. And then we're gonna shoot this. Definitely not peak. We'll start out with Mountain Dew. Let's start out with Mountain Dew. Dieseling, only dieseling. Take your pellet. Put your pellet in. Take your little, take your little dab. Boop. All right. Not Mountain Dew. It's not about to be Mountain Dew anymore. It's not impressive. It didn't even bust the ball. It went straight through both sides. Instead, let's shoot the cap. Let's shoot the cap on. Uh, okay. Let's go for the cap. <laughs> not gonna lie, that's pretty cool. Blew the whole top off of it. You know, if I blow into this, it should square out faster. <laughs> Ew, that stinks. It smells like oil. It's on my lips.
Can you see that? Can you read that? Not P. Most definitely not. Not at all. Definitely, definitely not broke either. Yeah. Which one is it? Is this real P? Do a little dibby dab. Bam. All right. Say hello to my little friend. Oh man. Ew. I got pee all over me. Ew. Oh. What? Oh. oh that's disgusting. It splattered all over me. I got pee on my face. That's disgusting. Wow. Okay. Next trick. This one isn't quite as oppressive as imp oppressive. That's right. This one isn't. This isn't quite as impressive because the wood's a little rotten. But I'm just gonna shoot through this. My this is just. You know, plywood's got mud on the back. It's disgusting. All right. Yeah, it went straight through it. Not impressive. Look at all the pellets in there. That's crazy. Now, I already see the other hate comments coming. I can already see you typing. Stop. Why would you do that? You just get a 22 LR. Well, I've got one. And it's really cool. Just like that. Got like 10 more in there. Any more comments you want to make? All right, well guys, this was all just fun and games, blah, 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 you know. The stuff that I called out is just a bunch of stuff I got in my first video, you know. So, you know, I was just putting it in this one. I've replied to thousands of comments on it and that just seems like what they go to so but anyways you guys came here to see what dieseling was like i showed you pretty cool very powerful very fun i'm burning up in this outfit right now it's pretty humid here right now i want to say thank you guys for watching i really hope you enjoyed it I, I was thinking about this one for a while just putting little funny things in it and stuff hopefully it turns out good we'll see but i wanted to come back with a banger and this was the best one that i could think of so if you watched this thank you for watching I hope you subscribe. You know, I'm not even going to ask. So I want to thank you guys, and I'll see you in the next episode. Goodbye.